Hello everyone. In this video, I will walk you through how to install and configure Docker on a Windows 10 or Windows 11 system. We will go step by step, covering everything from system requirements to troubleshooting, so you can get Docker running smoothly on your machine. Let's begin by checking the system requirements needed to run Docker on Windows. Docker Desktop requires either the Windows subsystem for Linux version 2, also known as WSL2, or Hyper-V. These are virtualization technologies built into Windows. For this tutorial, we'll focus on using WSL2. To use WSL2, your computer must be running a 64-bit version of either Windows 10 or Windows 11. The minimum version for Windows 10 is 1903, and for Windows 11, it should be version 21H2 or later. Your system also needs to support hardware virtualization. This is usually available on most modern CPUs, but it must be enabled in your BIOS or UEFI settings. In addition, you should have at least 4 GB of RAM for Docker to run properly. Docker Desktop works with the Home, Pro, Enterprise and Education editions of Windows. Now let's verify whether WSL2 is already enabled on your system. In the Windows search bar, type the phrase Turn Windows Features On or Off and then click on the result to open that window. Once the Windows Features dialog opens, scroll through the list until you find Windows Subsystem for Linux and Virtual Machine Platform. Make sure both of these options are checked. If you also see an option for Hyper-V, go ahead and check that box too, especially if you're using Windows Pro or Enterprise. Click OK. Windows will now apply these changes. You may be prompted to restart your computer. If so, go ahead and restart now before continuing. Once your system has rebooted, we need to check which version of WSL is currently set. To do this, open the command prompt. Click on the search bar again, type CMD and press Enter. In the command prompt window, type the following command, WSL dash dash status. Then press Enter. You'll now see the current WSL version listed. If it shows version 1, we'll need to upgrade to version 2. To do that, type this command, WSL dash dash set dash default dash version 2, and then press Enter. This command sets WSL2 as the default for any future Linux installations. With WSL2 ready, we can move on to installing Docker Desktop. Open your preferred web browser and go to docker.com. From the home page, click on the Get Started button near the top of the page. If you don't already have a Docker account, you will need to create one now. Just follow the prompts to enter a username, an email address, and a password. Once your account is ready, sign in. Now, go back to the Docker homepage and click on the Download Docker Desktop button. The installer file is approximately 600 megabytes in size, so depending on your internet speed, this may take a few minutes to download. Once the download finishes, locate the installer file and double-click it to begin the installation. If you're asked whether to allow the app to make changes to your device, click Yes. The Docker Desktop installer window will appear. You will see two options already selected. Use WSL2 instead of Hyper-V and add shortcut to desktop. Leave both of these boxes checked. Now click OK to continue. Docker will begin installing. This process can take several minutes, depending on your system. Be patient and wait until the process completes. Once it's done, you will see a message that says, Installation succeeded. Click the button that prompts you to restart your computer. After the restart, Docker Desktop will automatically launch. When Docker starts for the first time, you will be asked to accept the terms and conditions. Click Accept to continue. Docker Desktop will now begin initializing. This might take a few seconds. After Docker has finished starting up, let's test to make sure everything is working correctly. Open the command prompt once again. Type this command, Docker version, and press Enter. This command will show the version of Docker currently installed on your system. To check if any Docker images are present, type Docker images and press Enter. Since this is a fresh installation, it should show that no images are available yet. Now let's search for a Docker image from the public Docker Hub registry. 
In the command prompt, type the following command. Docker search my SQL and press enter. This will display a list of available Docker images related to MySQL. At the top of the list, you should see the official MySQL image, along with several alternatives. At this point, Docker should be working as expected. But in case Docker fails to start and displays an error related to WSL2, it usually means WSL2 is not properly installed or set up. Here's how you can fix that. First, open PowerShell with administrative privileges. Click the search bar, type PowerShell, then right-click on it and choose Run as Administrator. If prompted by user account control, click Yes. In the PowerShell window, enter the following command to enable the Windows subsystem for Linux. DISM dot exe forward slash online forward slash enable dash feature forward slash feature name colon Microsoft dash Windows dash subsystem dash Linux forward slash all forward slash nor start then press enter. Next, run this command to enable the virtual machine platform feature DISM dot exe forward slash online forward slash enable dash feature forward slash feature name colon virtual machine platform forward slash all forward slash nor start and press enter again. Once both commands are completed successfully, you'll need to download the WSL2 Linux kernel update package. Download the MSI installer file, run it and follow the on-screen instructions to complete the installation. After installing the kernel update, go back to PowerShell and type the following command WSL space dash dash set dash default dash version 2, then press enter. This command ensures that WSL2 is now the default for any future Linux environments. When all of that is done, restart your computer once more. After the restart, Docker Desktop should now start up without any errors. If it opens successfully and runs without any WSL related messages, then everything is working correctly. You're now ready to use Docker on your Windows machine. You can pull Docker images, run containers, and manage them either from the command line or by using Docker Desktop's graphical user interface. Everything is now fully set up. This is how you install and configure Docker on Windows 10 or Windows 11.